am so excited to talk about Seattle today because that's where I live. It's a beautiful, vibrant, and international city known for technology, rain, Starbucks coffee, major league sports teams like the Seahawks, the Mariners, and the Sounders, grunge music, and beautiful scenery, including lots of water and mountains. It's home to big companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Costco, and Boeing. As such, the name Seattle is known worldwide and is home to large numbers of people from other countries, especially our Asian and Russian neighbors who are just across the Pacific Ocean. Your language surely has its own way of pronouncing Seattle. But beware that it's probably very different from the English pronunciation and not understandable by native English speakers when you say it the way your native language does. So let me give you an example. When I lived in Portland, it was common to visit Seattle for a weekend because it was only a three hour drive away. So when I asked my students on Monday what they did over the weekend, I would often hear, I went to Seattle. I usually question them to figure out where, but truth be told, I never could figure out if they were trying to say Seattle or theater, which they seemed to pronounce exactly the same way. To correctly pronounce the S sound, you should flatten your tongue to the bottom of your mouth and the sides of your tongue will stick out between your upper and lower side teeth and your lips are spread. Take a look at me and how I do it. You see how my lips are spread wide? And you should be able to see the sides of my tongue coming through between my upper and lower teeth. For the S sound, there is no voice coming from your vocal cords, only air passing through your mouth. You will notice that the air flows down the middle of your tongue and your tongue is shaped a little bit like this. You'll notice there's a groove down the middle of it and the sides are pulled up slightly. So, now say C. C. Make sure it doesn't sound like she, but C. Now the word Seattle has three syllables. And the middle syllable, the a, ah, is the primary stress syllable. So it sounds like this. Seattle. Seattle. Make sure the a ah sound is much louder and longer than the other two syllables around it. Now the most difficult part of this word for you will probably be the final L sound, since this is an L that's not found in most languages. The final L is what we call a dark L, and it's a little bit different than the L that comes at the beginning of words. Now I have a video that's specifically about the dark L. You might want to take a look at this video to get a little bit more practice with the dark L. Now you'll find that video also on my YouTube channel and it's under the Sounds of American English playlist. But before you do that, I'm going to show you very quickly how to pronounce the dark L so you can say it in Seattle here. So what I want you to do to pronounce the dark L is I want you to close your mouth completely and I want your tongue to be raised against the roof of your mouth, the whole tongue, the front and the back. Okay, and I want the front of your tongue, this part here, to be touching your upper front teeth, like this. La. To simplify things greatly, you'll often find the dark L at the end of words, 
words like will, sell, people, and help. Now go ahead and pronounce those after me just to quickly pronounce that dark L. Will, sell, people, and help. In each of those cases, you should have had the back of your tongue raised as well as the front and that front of the tongue touching your upper front teeth. Now let's put it all together, the beginning S, the primary stress syllable on the A and that dark L at the end, and we have Seattle, Seattle. That's all there is to it for pronouncing Seattle. And you can look forward to seeing another video on how to pronounce theater, that other difficult word I mentioned earlier in this video. Thanks for watching.